What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. This is Love and Hip Hop. My notes almost f flew out the window. I'm trying. I was trying to get to a place where it wasn't so hot, because the last time I was trying to record after work and the sun was beaming on the phone. You know how the phone is propped up against the windshield and the phone heated up and it was like, boop, bitch, no. So let me try and hurry up and finish this so I get out of traffic. And so we start off. This is Love and Hip Hop Review, season five, episode ten. Donatella, Brooke, and Bridget are meeting. Uh, Brooke comes in there gossiping about Monique saying I don't think she's gonna make it because she passed out and then giving her theory on why she thinks um, that um, Monique had a had a um, anxiety attack or a panic attack I think that Brooke has a problem um, I don't know what her goal is I even I sent her a tweet on Twitter asking that bitch what was her objective this season what goal was she trying to to get to by being this gossiping backstabbing untrustworthy bitch like what the, I, I just I just don't like it I just don't like this character that she's portraying and like I said if she's doing this I hope that money Scott Young is paying her a lot of fucking money because it's not worth it what you're doing and the character you're portraying that shit is trash and it's disgusting the, the way that she was just gossiping about Moniece, and then Moniece walks up and is like, yeah, I'm going. I had an anxiety attack, a panic attack. You think it's because I want to find out. Does does Moniece know that, that Brooke got into the studio, into the booth, after she was carried away on a stretcher? Does she know that? Like, I'm trying to figure out how was you just cool with her? Like, bitch, what, did you do a song? Why didn't you say? Like, I don't know. But anyways, they decide that they're going to um that Monique Monique says she's going she's been cleared to go by her physician the Britney's coming Paris is coming just a random group of women that are in real life would not be friends um Donatella says she's not going I'm not going with you niggas I'm gonna send you niggas over there but I'm not going with you niggas I don't like Donatella's position on this show I don't know who the fuck she is or how come she has the pulse on hip-hop and and um new talent and stuff like that I don't know who the fuck Donatella is anyway Lyrica and Lyrica meet they talking about a bunch of lies. Lyrica feels like nobody believes her. And she was like, I'm your mother. I just stand in your truth. Um, don't worry about anybody. Um, if you need support, I'm your support. And then her mother asked a good question. Why are these rumors going around? What is going on to the point where y'all have, there's rumors like this that's affecting your life. And she's like, A1 is not believing where I'm coming from. And, and, but why are the rumors? How did the rumors get started? And then this thing, like, I guess Lyrica is going to be this pawn because Rockstar next episode says that he fucked Lyrica. Like, Lyrica, both Lyrica and Moniece asked to be released from their contracts. I mean, I think Moniece did for, I'm sure, I, I'm, I am positive that Moniece did, but I'm not sure that Lyrica did. I think Lyrica said that she wanted to be released or said that they were fucking around they play too much with people's lives and they're not really being responsible I, I just don't like I mean I've already had a lot of critiques on love and hip hop but this and this the way that they're acting I just I just don't think that I don't know I don't like it um mother says know your truth live in your truth stand by your truth stand up in your shit so they're in London. They showed them flying to London. They're gossiping each in each van. Tierra starts going off on, on Paris because Paris is making jokes and cracking jokes about her sex tape. Uh, you want to act like you all serious, Tierra. Why are you acting so serious? But the, the day after all of this, you was laying in the bed with the nigga. Like, so we cracking jokes because, bitch, you obviously going to still still be fucking with the nigga. Like, crack a joke. I, I, I understand both sides. It's her reputation. But do, do you have really much of a reputation? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? I don't know. They get in there. Their room selection. Um, I think, who said, don't touch my shit? Somebody, oh, Tierra Marie was like, don't touch my shit. Immediately, La Brittany, um confronts Monice about Monice saying that she's going around sleeping with A1 and going in people's DMs and stuff like that. And she's like, I don't fuck with A1. Um, you you tried to say that I, I'm fucking with A1. And she was like, no, I didn't say that. I heard that and I did share that with 
J. Will. I appreciate Monice. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Somebody asked you a question. Stand in what you did. Yes, I did say that. I did say it was to J. Wills. Yeah, but I did not say I didn't start that. It didn't come from me. I heard it. I love that Monice just stands in her shit. Like, yeah, I did say it. All right. So I did. So what happens after that? La, uh, she says, oh, I heard that you are eating K. Michelle's pussy. Where did that come from? Like, y'all be making up shit? Like, what, what the, where did that come from? They, they are barely around each other. Like, we haven't even seen them hang out with each other maybe about two or three times. So what are you, I don't know. It's so fucking stupid. Um, Monice answered nicely. She didn't get upset. She didn't jump a fool. You know, back in the day, Monice probably would have jumped across the, the damn coffee table at La Brittany. La Brittany looks so much like Sierra. I don't know. She's not as pretty. Let me not, not. Let me just. I'm going to back up because I'm not going to even say what I was about to say. I'm just going to say La Brittany looks like Sierra. She does. She really looks like Sierra. Um, this episode was kind of boring. It's about to be real quick. So they did a pub crawl. Um, Paris is like, I'm just happy. I'm trying to be happy. This is a vacation. I'm happy on vacation. Whoever's doing Paris's makeup and her wigs and shit, they got it going on. They, they're doing a really good job because Paris looks beautiful every time she comes on that goddamn screen since in the last three episodes. No, two episodes. Three or two. Two or three episodes. She's been looking really nice. Contour, makeup, everything nice. Hats, nice. Wigs, nice. Just real cute. Her little lock wig that she had on and little straight little bob wig where she had that hat on. Her makeup is soft and pretty. I loved it. I love it. I like. I, I, you know, and I felt I felt Paris when she was crying about what happened with Kay Michelle. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my family. I don't have a lot of people. I'm come from the hood. You you out here saying that I'm a thief. We don't get down like that. I'm not no thief. It was only $50. Kay Michelle has a different story than Paris. And, you know, we just will never know what the truth is. So we just go by who we're going to believe. Are we going to believe Paris only took $50 from K. Michelle and K. Michelle made it seem like she was a thief and it affected her family, you know, embarrassed her family. It is embarrassing. So that's why Paris should kind of understand where Tierra is coming from in terms of being embarrassed about being publicly shamed. Um, she should understand that. But I also understand she's like, bitch, we're trying to have fun. We don't cut, don't bring that shit all the way over here. You want to be fake mad at the nigga you fucking and you, he, he released you sucking his Dick. we're not here for that we're here to have a good time paris is inappropriately asking every man she comes in contact with if he's circumcised i don't think it's funny i think it's disgusting i wouldn't want a man coming to me asking me if i had a fat pussy uh, just randomly asking me you know does your pussy get like that's just disrespectful i don't think it's i don't think it's funny at all um, Tierra leaves out. Monice notices that she leaves out. Monice is saying, or Tierra is saying, I feel like I want a drink. Monice says, I'm not going to judge you if you take a drink of champagne. I guess she let her know right then and there, this is what you can have to drink. I'm not going to judge you if you take a sip of a champagne or have a glass of champagne. And I'm not going to judge you if you don't drink. What do you want to do? I'm, I'm with you. I, Monice has really grown. She is, I, you know, she's really grown. She's really trying to work on herself. Maybe it's her medication. Well, she's really grown. Um, what else? Um, so they leave. They end up leaving. And Monice is like, you know, we can we can go. Let's go. So they end up going. She said later that it kind of solidified them rebonding or reconnected with each other because they left. Um, in the next scene, Apple and Sean, um, Apple Watch and Sean Love are going to have a meeting with the attorney to sign the document so that she can represent her, manage her. She she brings her lawyer. Apple Watch doesn't show up. That was it. Paris is going to eat with Monique, Santiera, and uh, Paris. Paris, Monique, Santiera, and Nikki. Um, their city. Nikki's very quiet this season. I think this might be Nikki's last season. I don't think she has really any position on the show she's not fucking a rapper she's not fucking a, a writer she's not fucking you know a celebrity she's not fucking a producer there's no reason you're not connected to hip-hop in any kind of way you probably don't need to be on the show not connected to music in any type of way so Tierra is telling Paris that she really doesn't appreciate her making jokes about it she's like bitch we just cracking jokes it's a joke we're just cracking jokes um Moniz, um says the thing about k michelle she was like i know i'm friends with k michelle and i want to you know i'm being cool with you 
but Paris, you know, starts crying and says, you know what, that, that really affected me. It was an embarrassment to my family. I was be I was publicly shamed and it's 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 fucked up. They go on a double decker bus tour as well and then come back to Apple and Sean Love and um, Apple is at the strip club. She's yelling at fucking Apple for not showing up and she's like, bitch, you need to get the fuck off the pole. I love that scene so much. I don't know why I did it. Just I felt like she was fighting for her because she she relates to Apple. And so she's like, bitch, get the fuck off of here. Um, what the fuck is that money? What? You got some money right there? How much is that? That ain't shit, bitch. I, I roll with money. You know what I'm saying? She pulled out her money, pulled out her $100 bill. She said, bitch, you want this or you want that? What the fuck you want to do? Get the fuck off that stage. You playing around. I'm trying to help you. Let me help you. Let me fucking help you. Then Apple Watch throws a fit, stomping his shit on stage. Her booty was... I said, come on, booty. Her booty was jumping up and down. She was jumping up on stage. That girl in the background could not dance. I was like, what the fuck is she doing back there? No tip for you, bitch. She was like, I'm trying to make an investment in you, but I need to know that you're worth it. You're not going to be sitting up here, not showing up to stuff. You wasting my motherfucking money, bitch. I'm on your team. I'm your out, is what she told her. Let me help you. Let me help you. So we're going to see how that Apple couldn't look her in the face. She was like, you can't even look me in the face. But when I'm done with you, goddamn it, you're going to be able to look me in the face and every other motherfucker around here in the face and let them know you fucking made it, bitch. I really want her to work with her. And I really, I really want, I'm here for the underdog. You understand what I'm saying? And I want Apple Watch to make it because quiet is kept. The bitch has talent. You just around these niggas when the niggas are the gate keepers of the of hip-hop all they doing and they raggedy and misogynistic and disgusting and all they want to do is stick their dick in something just fucking nasty i'm glad that she has a woman that got some wherewithal and some smart some street smarts to help her out i hope she helps her out she couldn't help her daughter out because her daughter cannot sing so that's just it it's not like she couldn't do it she probably could do it if her daughter had a little bit of talent but amber diamond is talentless none at all you stick to clipboards on while and out carrying clipboards and shit um monique and LeBrittany meet paris sets it up and she says you know it's something that i heard i didn't start the rumor she was like yeah i was in a1's dms that's how you introduce yourself to people that's how you get in contact we have this idea somebody's in your dm they're trying to have sex with you or trying to hook up with you or whatever the hell you want to call it these days and that's not the case and i'm glad they say that bitch this is how you meet people yeah i was in his dm but i'm not trying to fuck him like what how come i just can't introduce myself and say hey you're a producer we're about to be on the same show can we work together why is it be like oh she's trying to get with like lyrica come on you 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 can't do that you lyrica's the one that started that shit right all right so they make up they decide like are we gonna be cool she's not that bad after all and blah 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 two scenes ago money she was calling her thirsty but anyways bridget is is set up some press reviews outside of her rented uh place that they just they wanted to make sure they put rented apartment i don't know why they did that i i, I, I just don't get it so the bloggers are sitting down she's going from blogger to, to blogger to radio station or whatever and this uh, this guy sits down and he's interviewing her about her new um album her first full-length album um reality bites and they're talking and she's chit-chatting with the guy and then brooke crashes it the same way she crashed monice's studio session i don't know i'm so glad that next ep next episode bridget gets her the fuck together i like i said i don't advocate violence but brooke valentine needs her ass beat like bitch you are so out of pocket and so outside of yourself is this the type of person you are like this is trash your behavior is whack trash boo-boo disgusting you're disgusting you are like a disgusting person like period why would you you saw the girl was conducting business don't jump out there and start trying to come sit down and i'm about to make this interesting what if she doesn't want it to be interesting that's not your place brooke you get an interview bitch and conduct it the way you want to fucking conduct it fucking bitch 
La Britney comes out too. La Britney's promoting herself. It was just a bad look all around. She didn't invite y'all out there. You go into London for the purpose of her. You're in London because Bridget invited you. Let her handle her business. It was Bridget's mistake to do it in the place where they were staying because just the messiness of it all. But Brooke, you are trash, bitch. She sits down. Tierra Marie is cooking. She comes to the doorway and tells them that the food is ready. And she looks so cute standing up there with that long black robe on. She was like something about some flour for chicken. And she was like, I'm not even here for this. That is somebody, that is somebody that knows how to conduct themselves. I know she's out here for business. I'm just letting you know, bitch, your food is ready. You know, maybe the other guys wanted to eat too. Maybe she made enough. She had fried some chicken apparently. But now they call her out to sit down. So she comes and she sits down. And the guy mentions her sex tape and says she wants to see it. Bridget is like, nah, man. Y'all can't do this. Y'all. Brooke thinks it's funny. She's laughing and shit. Fuck Brooke. I don't like Brooke Valentine. I don't like Brooke Valentine. That, her behavior makes you not want to support her musically. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're doing the most, bitch. Tierra gets up and she walks away. They tell the guys right then and there that wasn't cool. Brooke is standing at the door trying to, to explain to Tierra this was not supposed to happen. Brooke was not supposed to be out there. La Brittany wasn't supposed to be out there. I'm sorry they did that to you. That did not go the way that I wanted it to go. They weren't supposed to be there. Blah, blah, blah. Talking and she's telling Tierra says, go away. Go from the go away from the door. Um, Tierra Akbar and K Michelle. Oh, they gossiping saying that um Tierra and K Michelle was in um Akbar's comments when he was doing a live or the other way around. And I guess that's gonna be some bullshit next season. Um, next episode. I don't like Akbar. I don't even like the way he looks. Like his eyes, like they he looks like he's trying to hustle you. Like he's trying to pull one over on you. He looks very um dishonest his energy is very dishonest it's very a uh, manipulation it's very a hustle or like I'm, I'm trying to hustle you out of something it's just it's it's not he just has a bad energy just his eye like if you look at his eyes and that smile is not real it's a fake smile because he's really he's he's a manipulator a liar um and untrustworthy and that's not somebody that you should trust. Not at all. Anyways, that's it. That was it for the episode. It's a wrap. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I just really would like to know what Brooke's objective is. How she wants to be portrayed on this show. And is she okay with how they're editing it? Because her behavior is really disgusting. And she should actually want more for herself. We are seeing like Monice. Monice used to be out of control on Love & Hip Hop. Do, does anybody else see Monice's growth? how she's answering questions, how she's responding, how she's dealing with things. I don't know if it's because this is Brooks. Is this Brooks' second season? I don't know if she feels like all these people are leaving, so I want to be the star of the show. But after a while, you ain't going to have no friends in real life, bitch. Take care of each other.